In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code the kick command with discord.js version 14 using slash man. So let's go ahead and get right into it. If you're using the slash man package um, from one of my previous videos, just go ahead and click on moderation, click new file and call it kick.js. If you're using a different handler, um, just do what you normally do for your handler and then apply um, the general code concept to that handler and it will work for you. So we can go ahead and start here. Let's start by doing const slash command builder. And we can do equals require uh, at discord dot or discord js slash builders. Semicolon const. We can do embed builder, comma permissions bit field, comma, or actually no comma here. Then we can do equals require. Um, we can do discord.js, semicolon, and we can do module.exports. Uh, we can do equals and then open this up. And here we can do data, new slash command builder. We can do dot set name, kick. We can set a description, uh, description, and we can say uh, this command kicks a server member. And then we can do set user option. We can do option arrow function. Option dot set name. We can do target. And then we can do dot set description. We can say the user you would like to kick. And then we can make it so this is a required option. So we can do set required. We can do true. All right, now we can go down here. We can do add string option, option, arrow function, option dot set name. And then in here we can do reason. Uh, and then we can go outside of that and we can do set description. Uh, the reason for kicking the user. Then we can add a comma here. Actually, I'm gonna remove that period. So make sure you have the comma here. We can go under that. We can do async execute interaction interaction client. And we can go ahead and open this up. And in here we can actually start the code. So what we can do is we can do const kick user user equals interaction dot options dot get user. And then we can do target. Um, I'm gonna move that there. All right, and we can do const kick member equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch fetch, and then we can do kick user dot kick user dot id. Perfect, and then we can go const channel equals interaction dot channel. We I don't know if we're gonna need this actually. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, we might not need it, but we'll just write it in anyways. We can do if exclamation mark interaction dot member dot permissions dot has permission bit field dot flags dot kick members. And then we can return and uh, do await interaction dot reply. We can do content. You must have the kick members permission to use this command uh, and then right here we can do e p h e m e r a l or infernal i think and we can do true add a semicolon here and then we can do if kick member then we can or if no kick member then we can return awaits interaction a reply and we can say content the user mentioned is no longer within the server. We can do that, and we can do the same thing. So E P H E M E R A L, true. Semicolon there. And then we can do if exclamation mark kick member dot kickable turn await interaction dot reply content. I cannot kick this user because 
uh, they have rules above me or you. E P H E M E R A L. True. Uh, semicolon here. All right. So now we can define a reason. So let reason equals interaction dot options dot get string reason. Um, and then we can do if no reason. Um, reason equals no reason given just like that all right now we can make a few embeds here so we can do const dm embed equals new embed builder embed builder and we can set a description and this will be the dm embed so we're gonna say white check mark and we can say you have been kicked from we can bold this we can do interaction dot guild dot name and then we can do reason in here all right now we can make our uh, message embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder keep doing that builder just like that we can do set color blue set description you can do white check mark and then we can say kick user dot tag has been kicked and then we can define a reason right there all right so because this command is uh, actually removing the member from the guild um we need to send the message first uh, in their DM. So we're gonna actually go ahead and send the message. So we can do await, uh, kick member.send embeds, and then in here we're gonna do our DM embed. And now we're gonna catch an error, uh, just in case they have the DMs off or something happened or whatever. So then we can just return, uh, return, because we don't wanna console log anything like that, we can just return it. All right, so now we can do await kick member dot kick, um, and then we can put in our reason, just like this. Then we can catch an error here. Uh, we can open up an error function, and we can say await interaction dot reply. We can do content. There was an error. We can do comma e p h e m e r a l true. Actually, remove that weight. Can't put that there. Uh, we can put a semicolon here and a semicolon here. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and send the message. So we can do await interaction dot reply. We can do embeds. And then just put the embed like that. Semicolon. All right, so now we are done. We can go ahead and restart the bot and test it out. All right, so as you can see here, I did make a little error. Um, right here I did set user option. It's supposed to be add user option. Just like that. Add user option. So now we can go ahead and restart the bot and test it out again. All right. Now that we have the bot online, what we can go ahead and do is we can just uh, try to kick just like that. And we're going to just go ahead and try to kick somebody that might be above the bot. Or let's just try to kick the bot. We can put a reason, test, and as you can see, it says I cannot kick this user because they have uh, rules above me or you. So, that works. Um, we can do kick, and we can just, like, copy some random channel ID and put that in there. Um, and it will say a user ID is spe or specified as invalid. Now, if we go into this server we, and we just copy an ID from some other member that is not in this specific guild, we can try to kick them. And it will say there was an error while executing this command. Um, because I do have a slash command package that does it. My slash command package overrides the interaction and says this message. Um, but if you're not using the slash command package, we did write an if statement for this specific event. So you'll be good there. All right. So now we can actually kick the alt. So we can do kick. Uh, we can kick the alt and we can say testing kick command. All right, so it's going to go ahead and send the message saying testing the kick command, and it will say all this stuff. And as you can see, the alt is no longer in the server. If we load up the alt, we can go ahead and open up the DM. And as you can see, it says you have been kicked from SQ bot testing. I did mess up the bolding. 
you can go ahead and fix that if you messed up as well. Now that we're back in the server on this account, we can try to kick um, me or somebody like that, really anyone, we can say test. As you can see, it will say that you have to have the kick member's permission to use this command. Now let's how to code the kick command in discord.js. If you need any help, join the help server in the description below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.